Anger. Anger and frustration are emotions that we all feel sometimes. They are normal reactions when we face something that makes us feel threatened, hurt, or disappointed. They can help us stand up for ourselves or fight for our rights. But sometimes, they can get out of hand and cause problems. They can make us do things that we regret or hurt people that we love. They can stop us from achieving our goals or enjoying our lives. That's why we need to learn how to cope with them. I've had my fair share of anger and frustration in my life, and I know how overwhelming it can be. Losing my parents at a young age filled me with rage and a burning desire for justice. For a long time, that anger consumed me, turning me into a creature of darkness. But I realized that allowing anger to control my actions was a path that led nowhere but deeper into the abyss. Through years of rigorous training and self-discipline, I learned to harness my anger and channel it into becoming something greater. I embraced the darkness within me, but refused to let it define me. I vowed to use my pain and anger as a catalyst for change, to protect the innocent and make Gotham City a safer place. But it wasn't easy. There were moments when anger threatened to consume me, when I teetered on the edge of crossing the line between justice and vengeance. It took great strength and resilience to resist the allure of giving in to my darkest impulses. I realized that true strength lies not in succumbing to anger, but in rising above it. I've learned that anger can blind you, cloud your judgment, and lead to actions you might later regret. It takes tremendous discipline to control those emotions and use them as fuel for positive change. I've made mistakes along the way, stumbling and falling, but I've also learned from them, constantly striving to become a better version of myself. So when I tell you that you have the power to overcome your anger and frustration, it's not just empty words. It's a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. I've walked that treacherous path, faced those inner demons, and found a way to transform my anger into a force for good. But let's be clear. Controlling anger doesn't mean suppressing or denying it. That only allows it to fester and grow stronger. Instead, it's about acknowledging your anger, understanding its root causes, and finding healthy outlets for its expression. It's about redirecting that energy towards productive endeavors. One strategy I've found effective is physical activity. Engaging in intense workouts or practicing martial arts can help release the pent-up frustration. The physical exertion allows your body to release tension while simultaneously clearing your mind. Focus on the movements, the rhythm of your breathing, and allow the physical exertion to be a cathartic release. Moving makes you use all that anger to strengthen your body and mind. Work out until your body can't hold it anymore and you are truly exhausted. Humans are made to move, and many times society sickens us by depriving us of an active lifestyle, causing widespread depression, anger, and frustration. So get moving. However, anger is not always resolved by physicality alone. It's crucial to understand the deeper reasons behind your anger. What triggers it? Is it an external circumstance, a particular person, or an internal struggle? Identifying the source can give you the power to address it directly. When anger arises, try to pause and reflect. Take a step back and ask yourself why you're feeling this way and whether your anger is justified. Often, anger stems from unmet expectations, a perceived injustice or feeling powerless in a situation. By analyzing the situation objectively, you can gain a clearer perspective and respond more thoughtfully. If you don't reflect on your anger, it will consume you and your health. Use that inner flame you have to do good and make this place we call world a better place. Effective communication also plays a vital role in managing anger and frustration. Reach out to someone you trust, a friend, a family member, or even a professional counselor. Verbalizing your feelings can help you gain new insights and perspectives. They might provide guidance or offer alternative solutions that you haven't considered. Remember, seeking help is a sign of strength not weakness. I'm not afraid to ask for assistance when needed, and you shouldn't be either. We all face challenges, but it's how we confront them that defines us. Another important aspect is self-care. Take the time to engage in activities that bring you joy and relaxation. Whether it's reading, listening to music, pursuing a hobby, or spending time in nature, these moments of respite can help alleviate stress and redirect your focus away from anger. In conclusion, Dealing with anger and frustration requires a multifaceted approach 
that combines self-awareness, physical release, reflection, communication, self-care, and forgiveness. It's a journey that demands courage, resilience, and a commitment to personal growth. Remember, you have the strength within you to rise above these emotions and channel them into positive action. Together, we can navigate the depths of anger and frustration, illuminating the path towards inner peace. Just as I transformed his pain into a force for justice, you have the power to transform your anger into a catalyst for personal transformation. Embrace the challenge, for it is through adversity that we discover our true potential. Know that you are not alone in this journey. I stand beside you as a symbol of hope, determination, and the unwavering belief that we can overcome any darkness that threatens to engulf us. Let us forge ahead, armed with the knowledge that anger does not define us, but rather, it is how we choose to respond to it that shapes our character. With every step forward, with every act of kindness and understanding, we defy the hold of anger and frustration. Together, we can build a future filled with compassion, resilience, and the unwavering resolve to make the world a better place. Remember, you have the strength to conquer the storm of anger and emerge stronger than ever before.